Hey, welcome everyone. Today we're just going to do a quick update on what's coming into Sophos Central. These are updates you'll see in your dashboard today, as well as a few updates that you will see hit uh, very early here in July. So let's go ahead and jump into the dashboard and take a look. Okay, so first thing to notice is we are working on a reskin of the Sophos Central partner and the Sophos Central admin dashboards. This is kind of a first step to a lot of the other components that are happening with Sophos Central, uh, basically taking all of the UI, the fonts, the images that are used and making those consistent across the board. You'll start to see this happen again early in July. And one of the biggest asked for features that is out there is the ability to have dark mode for Sophos Central. As you can see, there's a little moon up here at the top right hand corner. If you were to come in and select this, that would enable dark mode for the Sofo Central Partner Dashboard. Inside of the UIs with the rebranding, you'll notice that there's a lot of screens that have actually gotten a little bit of an overhaul, making it a lot easier to read and navigate those screens. We've also had a few features that have been added in. These are features that have been asked for and are absolutely needed uh, inside of Sofo Central. One of those is the ability to unlink an account from your central partner dashboard without having to reach out to the MSP team. So today at the top, you will notice that there's a new button under there, and this is only found under the Sofo Central customers. If we were to go in and take a look at this trial for this uh, ABC LTD, I can have that selected. Now there's two things that I can do here. There's two updates that have happened. If this is a trial, which is the case here, this is currently running on a trial license, you'll notice that this highlighted right here with this update billing. This is going to allow me to convert a trial account into a monthly usage account. You can do this without having to reach out to the MSP team, simply click on the trial account. You can now convert that into a monthly usage. Simply hit apply in there. That's now going to move this over. For this account, if this was a trial that you no longer needed, we would also be able to come in and you see we now have this unlink from partner. If we were to select on this for a trial account, this will let you know that you know, we are going to be removing this account. And because this is a trial, this is going to be effective immediately. Now, if you clicked on that and went to th click through this, that would actually remove that account from your view again immediately because it is a trial. If you were to select another account, and let's say this is a, an MSP monthly account that you no longer need inside of your dashboard, and you were to go through and do the unlink, you'll see here the update billing is not available. You cannot make a change from a monthly account to convert it into uh, a trial. Uh, this will actually happen from the partner unlink. It will remove it from you as the partner. You'll also see here that it will convert that account into a trial. So if I was to select this account here, click on the unlink from partner, You'll see here, it'll give you again, ask you if you're sure you really want this to happen for this particular customer account. So verifying that it has the right account, it'll let you know that that account will be converted to a trial as part of this unlinked process. You will need to say, yes, you want to convert that account. And it will let you know that for monthly accounts, it will always remove them at the beginning of the month. So this one right now, this will be effective as of July 1st, 2022. So I would have to wait on this in order to have this removed from my account. Now, if you have one inside of your dashboard that you already set up to be removed, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna select this one here, and we're gonna go ahead and mark this as an unlink from the account. If this one's marked as an unlink from the account, and you wanted to stop that process, you made a mistake, hit the wrong account, what you'd be able to do once this refreshes is go in and select this delete scheduled unlink. And what that'll do is it will remove the unlink operation from that particular account if there's a current unlink operation sitting there and pending for the end of the month. Again, brand new feature, easy to use. Nothing else is going to change inside of there as of right now, just the ability to unlink right from that account. Again, you have the ability to go from a trial account into a monthly account without having to reach out to the MSP team, trying to make things a lot simpler and easier. As far as the dashboard goes, again, new UI that is going to be overhauled. You guys will see this again, early parts of July. 
Again, making everything look a little bit neater and cleaner inside of the dashboard. This does apply to absolutely everywhere inside of the dashboard. And at any point in time, you can come in and enable the dark mode for your dashboard. This also will apply to the central admin accounts. If we come into my admin account here. All right, so inside of my central admin account, again, you can see the last mode that I had actually had dark mode enabled. That's why it's still enabled on here. So again, brand new looking UI. This is just, again, first steps, a lot of the theming components that need to be done. There are still a lot of other changes that are coming for the Sofo Central Partner Dashboard, a lot of UI enhancements and changes as to how things work. So definitely keep a lookout for those coming in the future. Again, inside of here, if you are wanting, you have your dark mode. You also have the ability for the light mode component inside of there. And all of the additional components on here also have just slight revisions to how things are presented inside of the dashboard. For instance, inside of the policies, these are no longer scrolled across the entire top of the page. They are now quickly and easily grouped together so you can easily get access into the settings. All right, so there will be another update coming to the devices. Part of that is already seen here with the ability to reset the health status of a device. We are also going to be adding in very shortly the ability to see which devices have tamper protection currently enabled and which ones do not. You can bring that to the attention right up front. You will have filters to filter out for those devices. That information will also be brought into the account health check as well. That way, again, when you are going through determining whether or not everything for this particular customer is in a good state, tamper protection will be one of those items that is seen here. Okay, very quick update. I don't wanna keep this very long. More changes are coming in the future. We are revamping the entire UI. Stay tuned for additional changes. We will try to post those on this channel as quick as we can. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.